In our final moments, our true colors shine as we know there is no return. From polite to downright chilling, here are 18 expressions from society's most twisted that are sure to send shivers down your spine. Number 18, today is a good day to die. Indifferent to joy, Mario Murphy went to his death with these morbid last words. Mario was convicted of the murder of a U.S. border officer within a six-man syndicate. He was the unlucky one, as all others were let off with a plea. Number 17, show my head to the people, it's well worth seeing. These were the final words of George Danton, who was a leading figure in the French Revolution of the late 18th century. Number 16, take a step or two forward, lads, it'll be easier that way. These were the anxious last words of Irish nationalist Robert Erskine Childers, who sought for the operations of his execution to go smoothly. Robert was killed due to his actions that contributed toward the development of the Irish Free State. Number 15, pardon me, sir, I did not do it on purpose. In a respectful and orderly manner, these polite words were supposedly the last spoken by Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, who was sent to the guillotine at the height of the French Revolution on October 16, 1793. Contrary to first impressions, however, she was not referring to any crime she had committed, but rather to the executioner of whom foot she had accidentally trodden upon. Pardon. Number 14, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico. These hollow utterances of patriotism echo throughout the death chamber as Humberto Leal, who was convicted of the rape and murder of a 60-year-old girl, took his final breath. Leal was executed via lethal injection on July 7, 2011, despite an appeal from the White House. Yeah. Number 13, let her rip. These were the zealous last words of Texan-born outlaw Tom Ketchum, aka Black Jack, who wreaked a reign of terror upon the railroads of the Southwest during the late 19th century. In 1901, Ketchum reserved a place in hell after a spree of murders and train robbers with the words, I'll be in hell before you eat breakfast, boys. Let her rip. His case is the last hanging in America, which was probably for the best as his executioners didn't do a very good job of it. His head came clean off before he even touched the ground. Number 12, my left arm is killing me. It hurts so bad. Jonathan Green said these final words as a result of his execution by lethal injection on July 17, 2002 for the kidnap, rape, and strangulation of a 12-year-old. Number 11, it does kind of burn. Goodbye. Jose Villegas was executed by injection, age 39, for the evil doing of killing his ex-girlfriend, her son, and mother. This was carried out after his attorneys unsuccessfully battled the U.S. Supreme Court in an attempt to get him appealed, stating that he was mentally impaired and ineligible for the death penalty. Number 10. Give me my rights back. Give me my life back. These were the final words of Kelsey Patterson, who was found naked at the scene of a double homicide and was subsequently sentenced to death by lethal injection on May 18, 2004. Number 9. Everyone dances with the Grim Reaper. These morbid last words uttered by the murderer of two teenagers, Robert Harris, are actually misquoted from a pop song. His full final statement read, You can be a king or a street sweeper, but everyone dances with the Grim Reaper. Number 8. For the sake of decency, do not hang me high. In 1752, Mary Blandy was convicted of murdering her father using arsenic. Whether for simple politeness or to retain traditional British propriety, she dressed formally and modestly to the gallows, wearing a dress and asking her executioners not to hang her high for the sake of decency. Number 7. There's a bright and shining. In 1995, Johnny Johnston was convicted of the rape and murder of a drug addict who refused to have sex with him after he provided her with cocaine. He also confessed for 13 other rapes in and around Texas, and his last words were the first two lines of the hymn, Jesus Keep Me on the Cross. Number 6. You are about to see a baked apple. Convicted murderer George Apple delivered his creepy final sentiments in the form of a pun in 1928, where he was executed by electric chair. You are about to see a baked apple. Number 5. The rest of you can kiss my ass. These were the hard-hitting words of James Allen Red Dog, who stabbed five men to death during the early 90s, before his death sentence by lethal injection in 1993. In his final statement, he apologized to his family and friends, but to the rest of society, he told to kiss my ass. Number 4. This is the happiest moment of my life. George Endel was one of the defendants who was sentenced to death in the Haymarket Anarchist Trial of 1886. George had anarchistic principles and was said to hold responsibility as the main culprit who planted bombs that resulted in the Haymarket riots. 
Number three, I just like to say I'm sailing with the rock and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6th, like the movie Big Mothership and all. I'll be back. Aileen Wuornos, who was depicted in the movie Monster, is renowned as being the world's most brutal and gruesome female serial killer. An abused child and later an escort, Aileen went on a killing rampage of seven men. Number two, Jim and Fred, I'd like you to give my love to my family and friends. Ted Bundy, described as a man with a smart, amiable, and casual manner, was convicted for over 50 murders and is America's as well as one of the world's most notorious serial killers. Number one, Kiss My Ass. John Wayne Gacy, also known as the Killer Clown, is notably one of the most brutal and notorious of America's many serial killers. He was convicted of the sexual abuse and murder of over 33 teenage boys and young men. <laughs>